Surf's up. Hey, happy Saturday. This is Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker of Antelope Valley Florist. I'm Aaron Goldstein from Goldstein Digital. Our first guest today is Mark Hemstreet, the CEO of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. Mark! Chris! Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> that bumper music, music going on, surf's up, we're ready to party. Let's yeah, go! Yeah, is that the way it's going over at the Chamber of Commerce? It is. That, that is how we roll. Hey, this is new. You know, I'm left-handed, so I'm used, on the radio, I'm like turning to my right. This is kind of a new thing for me. I'm getting my stretches in. <laughs> You won't need to go see the chiropractor this week because uh, you've been stretching the other direction, right? That's another commercial right there. <laughs> so what's going on at the Chamber of Commerce? You're the CEO at the Chamber. Two years. Almost two years. We are going, yeah, we're a little past year and a half. We're heading towards that, that second year anniversary. Um, so hopefully I can hang in there a little bit longer and, and make one of those long-term CEOs for the Lancaster Chamber. Wow. You know, and, and uh, Nothing actually, wrong with continuity. I, I kind of like that thought myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? You know, we are uh, heading into summer. Um, you know, we have the fair parade going to be coming up in a couple months. Um, we got uh, some really cool luncheons planned for this year. Um, so we have a lot of good things going on. We have you know, just a lot of great things and businesses good out in the Antelope Valley. I think we're, we're on the right track here. What a busy a grand opening schedule. Oh, I know. What is going on? I know. I know. We're going to have, I mean, we're going to have ribbon cuttings. Well, this is going to already air when we have a couple right out right in a row, but we are just booking ribbon cuttings just, I mean, we get, you know, three, four, five a month. What is, you know, in case somebody that's going to do a grand opening, a ribbon cutting, what, technically, what's the dollar value of something like that, where you get a crowd in your store and you get proclamations from the elected officials and uh, all the queens show up on their own dime? members and you have a crowd. What you do. You, we generate a crowd. We generate a crowd plus it's, it's a great way to, I mean it's a great spotlight time. It's, it's putting your business out there. If you're a new business, if you're a business that, that is has relocated, that's expanded, if you've had a milestone anniversary, it's time to let the public know. So many of the times, when you think about marketing, we think, oh we need to have Facebook out there. No, you need to be real marketing. You need to be out there. You need to be in front of people. People. Our customers are people. Yeah. I mean, that, that's who we're dealing with. We're not dealing with a, with a computer. We're dealing with, with people. Not a phone, not an iPad, but a people. And ribbon cuttings, where we're bringing those people together, we're networking. We're going to take a, you know some pictures that you can that you can well, you can put on your social media too. But we're going to give you that opportunity, and uh, we're, we're going to we're going to highlight you. We're going to let people know that you're that you're open. You're you're in town to do some business. What about the folks that don't have a storefront, aren't selling something? Can they still have a party? They can still have a party. We can find a place and we can still do a party. You know, I've, I've talked to some, some of our, our, our businesses out there and, and, and looking at things that we can do for them and partner with them. Um, I just spent some time with um, um, Arts for LA and we talked about the partnership between our cultural aspect of our valley, what we do culturally, whether it be arts, whether it be theater, whether it be music, and how do we get that into business? that we could do, I mean, you go up, up in some towns, they have art walks where they have the businesses host a, an artist and they have a little wine and cheese right. and do something of that nature. And then we need to bring that here to our valley. Yeah, because somebody like me would say, what does that have to do with selling flowers? It might have everything to do might with it. might have everything to do with selling flowers. I mean, I could see a string quartet sitting in your, your business. After hours. After hours. Yeah. And having 25, 30 people out there listening to some great chamber music and that, you know, chain, that's kind of, you know, chamber, chamber, okay. you know, but a bump, but a bump. Okay. Chamber music playing by more. your string quartet. Yeah. And 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 seeing your 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 business, your place of business, seeing what great flowers you have in your in your in your in your boxes there, and just really cool. For business, it's always getting the person back, but just finding them for the very first time. They, you know, they drive by your location hundreds they might, of times. They might see a marquee outside that has Maybe. your name on it. I'm hoping. You're yeah. open. You're ready for business. Yeah, but it's it's bringing them in there and 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 you know crossing that line of, of well I don't need to go to a florist but I want to see this music now when my anniversary comes around I know where I'm going to get my flowers. Going back uh, before we came on, you mentioned you went to the LA Arts meeting. Yep. And they said, "What's your favorite piece of uh, public art?" Something like that. Correct. 
And, and as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, well, maybe like the F5 on the stick. Yep. That's public art That's for public the Antelope Valley. Yep, yep. Oh, absolutely. Or I was thinking, um, I thought of um, the um, rocket ship that's sitting there on, what is that, uh, Avenue L and uh, 15th Street East? Yeah, the the new... Uh, the roundabout. Roundabout, right. And then the, public and art. the, the, the sculpture is in the center of it. Yep. And at different times, it's a whole different look to it. So you know, during the daytime, it's it's silvery. You go at nighttime, it's lit up differently. I was there at sunset the other day. It was really cool. Wow. And that's the, the sort of thing you should just jump in the car and go look at. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's, we have things in the valley to look at. All the murals. The murals downtown. Yeah. Blackbird Bird Park in Palmdale. we got a lot of airplanes. Got a lot of airplanes. Airplane. And uh, we build a, a Chimboli statue in yep. Palmdale at Ponsalon Square. So there's public art, and that's important. We have yeah. public artists. We have public artists. We have, I mean, you go downtown to Moa. We have a great art museum down there. Um, we have a lot of, lot of different things. I mean, that uh, college has their, their symphony over there at the college, which is really cool. They've we got have, amazing buildings out at the college. They've, and they're we, going to have even more amazing buildings in the near future, too. We were, you and I were at a Board of Trade event uh, in the uh, theater at the yep. college. The Performing Arts Theater. Beautiful facility. Yeah. Nice black box in there. They have really, I mean, in a beautiful facility. You know, well engineered. Um, acoustics are great in there. Um, I've been to one um, concert in there. It was wonderful. Um, yeah, it's a great place. And, and, and I think a lot of people that are living in the valley don't don't realize what's available. We talk about, you know, going out into LA to get to get our culture. Um, when it's it's right here in our backyard. Every week, Aaron and I. Hey, how are we doing on the radio show? By the way, I think we're doing awesome. Oh, good, good. I, I hear a having, lot of positive comments about a radio show. We're having fun. Um, the gentleman I, I talked to today said he wants to book it. Yep. I said, "Well, give me your membership check, and we will get you on the list." So we try really hard to just have chamber members. It's a benefit to chamber membership. What does it cost? Just uh, membership. Chamber membership. You belong to the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, and you could be a radio star. There you go. And some people don't want to. True. Every once in a while. But, you know, we videotape it, and so it's out there, and people uh, hear the story and, and hear the message, and that's a wonderful thing. I, I, I think it's a great way of promoting yourself. Um, you talk about how to get that, you know, how to set yourself apart. And this is one more way to set yourself apart from your competition. Yeah. What's the value of joining the Chamber of Commerce? The value of joining the Chamber of Commerce is really tied into your participation in the Chamber of Commerce. So your value goes up exponentially by just going to a ribbon cutting, going to a luncheon, going to a breakfast. Um, going to a, one of our, our a symposium or, or anything that we're running and just network, going to a mega mixer. Um, you make that one contact, that one contact leads into five, and it just blows up. It just, it's, 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 we're there for business. We're there for business, we're there for the community. People enjoy meeting people. I'm working a little bit on the membership committee. Um, some of the members, like, introduce me to people, put me in a location where I can meet people, big people, movers and shakers. Yeah, that's kind of what the chamber does. That's kind of what the chamber's all about. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a way to get out there and meet people. Um, and we're seeing, you know, we're, we're making connections. I mean, one thing that I really enjoy doing is making connections. It's finding people that, you know, I just took a call just before we got on the show today. And someone's in a pinch and needs something. And they called me up and said, you know, who do you recommend? Who can, who can you give me that can get something done tomorrow? And I said, here's the name and the number. Yeah. Next time, wait till 4.30. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's a sale, right? And, yeah. and we realize in this day and age, it's great to be the go-to person. It is, but it's, it's, and it's a great feeling when you can be that person that can connect two other people together, that can make the connection for them, that can give them that right lead. Um, and it's not necessarily just straight all business. I mean, it can be... Um, personal. It can be um, an organization. It can be a nonprofit that that gains something through it. It can be cause marketing, where where your business is helping a nonprofit, and you're both winning. 
I was uh, at the EDD the other day. They had a seminar on regulations and how to stay legal, and they're saying they're, they put a show on. They put a, uh, a seminar every Saturday or third Saturday of the month at the at the uh, library downtown, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the lady that represents uh, the uh, supervisor for LA County, Donna Tremere, says, "Really." And that's what I said too. And I said, "Well, it sounds like we need to let the chamber. That's sort of a chamber of right. commerce sort of thing. Absolutely. Let, let the chambers know we probably build the crowd a little bit for you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And we, we send out emails on some of those when we get those when they, they forward them to us and we forward them back out again. Um, I know Kaiser is doing something with small business. Uh, they have something that uh, a program that then we just sent. I just got it today, and I've uh, resent it back out again to all our chamber members. But it's about getting funding, getting capital." Um, that they're in here thinking about our businesses in the Antelope Valley and how to support them and, and, and find funding for them. Really cool. Yeah, I just need customers. <laughs> but been around a while, as the Chamber has. 115 years? Yeah, 115 years. And still has a, a purpose and a, a health and a, a worthwhile purpose, I think. How do people contact you? They can get a hold of me by telephone's the easiest way. My number is 661-948-4518. Or they can stop by the on the boulevard. We're at uh, 554 West Lancaster Boulevard, right there at the, uh, the heart of uh, downtown Lancaster. Um, stop in, say hi. If you're a new business or an existing business and you want to increase your business, you need to talk to me. I like it. Mark M Street, CEO, Lancaster Chamber. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. You bet.